Hi there, where are we travelling to today? New York. New York. Okay, thank you. We're off to New York to do a ground force special. The boys aren't with me, they're coming out a day later, but I want to get out there just to make sure that everything is tickety-boo, because for me, this is going to be a very, very special ground force. I love New York. I started coming here a couple of years ago to do a gardening spot on CBS TV. That was before the terrible events of September the 11th, 2001. When I first came over, I did all the touristy things, you know, Central Park, Fifth Avenue, Statue of Liberty, and of course the Manhattan skyline. It's very, very different now. Brian. Hi, Charlie. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. I ordered what you wanted. Fantastic. You yeah, lovely man. Now tell me about the New York Restoration Project. Well, Bette started the New York Restoration Project. Bette, Bette Midler. Bette Midler, like the actress. Like the actress. The Bette Midler, the, the, the entertainer. She started in 1995. She started the New York Restoration Project to restore and reclaim uh, neglected parks and open space in New York City. Okay. And we started here. Uh, in Upper Manhattan. Beautiful, this cafe. Uh, a few years ago, Bet helped save 114 gardens. 114. I'd love to uh, see them. Well, we're, let's let's go down and see them. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. And so to Harlem. Now, Charlie, let me show you Maggie's garden. This is a garden that we just finished, and we uh -huh. named it after the lead gardener, resident gardener, Maggie Burnett. Well, this is our type of thing, I have to say. There's even Alan's blue shed at the end Th there. That's right, exactly. That's our color. Oh, is it? It is, it is. We're, we paint all our sheds and most of our benches that color. That blue? That blue. I'm sick of that blue because I spent all my time <laughs> painting trellis that blue. Bet picked the color. Did she? Yep. Yes, she did. Ah. So, Bet and Alan have the same taste yes, then. Exactly. These tomatoes are looking fantastic. They aren't they though? It's because of Maggie's. She has a green thumb. I love it. Yeah? That's right. I really love it. And so who are all the tomatoes for? Well, we are distribute them amongst different peoples. Uh-huh. Do you dry any of them? Uh sometime, but they don't keep them long enough. <laughs> <laughs> And there's nothing quite the same as uh, fresh tomatoes. Oh no, it's good for your health, the body, mm -hmm. everything. Keep your muscles strong. Well, we'll need those <laughs> for the garden. Yes, let's go down. Let's get down to our garden. Okay. Thank you, Maggie. Oh, you're perfectly welcome. Thank and you. And I certainly appreciate it so much for you all coming. You don't know how this makes me feel. Thank you, Maggie. <laughs> Thanks That's a right. lot. Bye. Thanks so Bye much. Now. Goodbye. Bye. Now, Brian, what area of New York is this? This is the Lower East Side. Okay. Um, we're about 20 or so blocks from Ground Zero now. Uh -huh. And this is the site that we are looking at doing? This is. This is our garden on Suffolk Street, Glacia Pentecostal Garden. And who's going to be using the garden? This is for the community. So just the local people the in local this bit? local people. There's a daycare center up the, up the block. There's a local church nearby. There's a block association, tenant organizations. This will be an, an open space uh, for them to use, for the children to use, for the senior citizens to use. Now, who are we going to be surprising, though? You're going to be surprising our founder, Bette Midler. She'll be here on, on Tuesday at the reveal. I just need Tommy and Alan to turn up now. Yeah. <laughs> I hope their flight's not late, otherwise we've got a few problems. I'm glad to say they're on their way, landing soon at JFK. Oh, you can tell we're not at home. It's warm. Very Lovely, warm. isn't it? Nice. Manhattan Bridge down the end of the road. Lovely view. New York, New York. So good they named it twice. And uh, so badly off for gardens that they have to get Charlie Dimmock over here on a regular basis to tell them how to do it on early morning television. <laughs> <laughs> and they've asked us over to help with this New York restoration project where they make these little gardens in bits of waste ground in between buildings. 
Lovely old buildings here with skyscrapers. Tell it's not home. Good morning. You must morning. be Brian. I am, thank you. Nice to meet you, Alan. Good, Hi. Good to see you again, Charlie. All right. I'm Brian. Hi. Hello. Hello. You are Joseph, Joseph Capello. Joseph Capello, who's the president of the New York the Restoration. President. Oh. Yeah, the nice president. I thought for a moment that Bush had gone. No, he's oh, no. still around. <laughs> president of the Restoration. That's well, right. wow. Well, we've got a little bit of work to do, but I think we'll be through in about an hour or two. That suits me. <laughs> <laughs> So that little building that. down there, what's yes. that? That's that's what's called a casita. It's I thought a... she was a character in West Side Story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little house. Um, right, what I need to do, I'm going to need to sit down and just re-schedule. Schedule. <laughs> what do you say over here? Schedule or schedule? You're schedule, schedule. About with it a bit. You say tomato, <laughs> I say tomato. I say potato, you say potato. <laughs> that's that's not divided by a common idea. language. <laughs> but let's just call the whole thing off. No, 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 we can't call the whole thing <laughs> But I'll sit down and fiddle, and then if we can start clearing that heap of rubble okay. and clearing those weeds. I know roughly what I want to achieve here a gravelly concrete path linking planting and pergolas, but the fine details need working out on site. I don't want to disturb you while you're doing your drawing. Well, go away then. Well, I'd like to. The, <laughs> the concrete's coming at 12 o'clock. And it's now 5 to 10. And it's Sunday, and we've got to have somewhere to put this concrete. Well, if you let me get on with this plan, within a very, very few minutes, you'll know. All right, will you talk to the truck drivers when they come here? All right, Tommy, what are we doing? Well, Willie, to be quite honest, I haven't got a clue, because he hasn't done the drawing yet, Alan. We've got to convert this as well, I don't know. Oh, forget about that. We need to concentrate on the concrete first. Yeah, OK, that's right. One thing at a time. Who are all these, Brian? Our volunteers? Here comes the cavalry. Yes, this is our AmeriCorps volunteer crew. Lovely. Have you told them what they're in for? They already know what they're in for. We've been working... But they in... don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have Jess, Amber, Lewis, Chris, Sarah, Steve, Janet, and, here's the... and this is our deputy director, Jason. Oh, so as well as having the president, we've got the deputy as well. That's correct. That's right. we, he's our Dick Cheney. <laughs> Come this way, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? You can probably guess. <clears throat> Moving the rubble. Oh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's go. <laughs> Oops, the concrete has arrived half an hour early. Hi, you OK? We'll be with you in a minute. We're just sorting out where we want it. And then a few words and a lot of concrete. Are you in there? Yeah. We're Guys, do you want to just come out and check this plan? Because I've finished now. I want to see if you... Do you want it from up there? We're in. OK. Are you... Sure, let's look from here. Right. Um, so you've got this tapering path coming in which draws your eye down. There's two trees on either side, these standard trees. Sort of almost an avenue coming down. It widens out here. And then we've got this oval mounded lawn. Like that. Great. Beth's going to love that mounded lawn. She, love she loves mounds, does she? She loves mounds. <laughs> Fine. And then against the wall here, to disguise the wall, a bit of spalier trees. They're on one plane, mm -hmm. flat against Fantastic. the wall. Pergolas there, pergolas there, another pergola there. Between these raised beds where people can cultivate stuff. Uh, and then these poles sort of emphasising the perspective, rather like Venetian gondola poles. Ooh, what colour blue? They're sort of darkish. Have you got a blue of your own? She, Bette loves the, what she calls Provence blue. Yeah. Do you have Provence you blue? Have we have, have Provence blue. We call it something different in Britain. We'll call it Provence blue for you. Oh. Um, and anyway, those there. Well, what, Similarly with the casita, we'll paint that the same colour blue. Oh, terrific. And She'll then we'll that. take a pergola out off the side of it with vines over it. So that's it in three days, guys. OK. Let's make it a go. Come yeah. out of your skip and get cracking. Great. We'll do. The true ground floor star. I'm beginning to feel very stressed. It's now 10.30, no, 11.35 on the first day, on day one. And there's a huge big lorry full of concrete arrived out there with a guy 
who must be at least 35 stone, who's not a very happy bunny because he wants to shed the load and get off because it is Sunday. And we're not ready for it yet. Okay, the driver's cool, he went off for a break. Uh, we have 20 minutes, which is good because we had to stall because Jason, uh, it took the key to the truck with him. And, and we can't move that truck just yet. So it's all going terribly wrong. So it's all going horribly wrong. No, it suits us because it gives okay, us time good. to get our edging into the path. So it's actually fortuitous. Yes. yes. Don't give me problems, give me solutions. And it's a very silly hat. No, that's not a very good... I mean, with someone with a haircut like that, people who throw stones... <laughs> this man's growing. And not going grey. <laughs> OK, I, I have both of those problems, balding and going grey. So thank you very much. So while the pickup truck blocks the concrete lorry's access, we've to move all the topsoil from where the paths are going and fix all the timber formwork that will edge the concrete path. And now Michael, the concrete guy, is back and he's kind of hard to ignore. Uh, Tommy? Michael, how long can you keep your load going for? Well, I've kept a load alive for about three or four hours, so... How long we had so far? So far you're into it about... 45 minutes. So, so you got about two hours, three hours to play with. Are you a happy bunny? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I love being out here in the sun. 12.20 and Jason's back. Hooray! So in theory, we could get Michael's lorry into position. What a shame we aren't ready yet. One forty-five. Inside the drum, things are getting critical, but Michael's got a trick up his sleeve, so to speak. Tommy! Yeah? you got about ten more minutes, then I'm going to put the retarder in. That'll give you an hour and a half to play with it after this. Well, just give me fi five more minutes and I'll start spreading it. You got it. Radio. My fiance is going to love this. I call her on the phone and tell her I'm going to be on TV. She went crazy. <laughs> She'll kill me if she sees me eating these. Retarders going in, countdown to setting point begins. We're ready when you are, sir. All right. Hold the wheelbarrow, don't look up. No. What a shot. <laughs> Whoops, didn't want it there. <laughs> Shall we start this end? That's the bed. Take this away. Again. Hey, that's better. You're coming off and throw the leg. Okay. That's it. Nice. Go on in. Five to three. Coming on though, I've got a bit of path. Concrete's going off incredibly fast. At that end there, it's solid. I only started laying about half an hour ago. Tommy says, uh, how are you going with the load? Is it almost used up? Not yet. Plenty more to go. Oh, good. Fantastic. Cheers. It's a cue. For a bunch of out of towners, you guys work pretty hard. Yeah, we're a bit stupid, aren't we, really? Don't no. know why we do this. 
No, but you're working hard. It's yeah. a hot day. It's a hot day. He's doing a good job. Yeah. He's doing good work. He could get a job doing that. Oh, he? absolutely. I think somebody will hire him. <laughs> we might be in a hurry, but you still can't rush a job like this. Apart from levelling the path, the board brings the fat to the top. That means the gravel we're tamping down will get set into the surface better. Not every stone will stick, leaving a certain crunch underfoot, but an otherwise plain concrete path is hereby rendered a thing of beauty. You done well. You done well. I'm still throwing gravel. <laughs> I'll be all right when I've had some water. I'll tell you one way to stop it. I think it's your wallet, money from your wallet. You'll soon stop throwing it then. Don't believe all this, Dean. That's it. Yes. Right, well done all. Yeah. Half past four. God, it feels like about half past nine. Mm. Thank you all very much. Are you coming back tomorrow? No chance. <laughs> they say. You'll be great. Oh, we got the man himself here. Look. All right, gentlemen. I gotta go. Have a good day. Put it there. Thank it's you very much. It's a pleasure working with you. Yeah. yeah. You do good work. Hope to see you back. Yeah. Come back soon. We might get call. you over in London, huh? Bring Absolutely. a load of concrete over there. Absolutely. I'll Can you keep it going on the, uh, on the QE2 as you're coming over there, Michael? From going off, you know? I'll do the best I can. OK. <laughs> good man. Take care. Thanks, Thanks for your patience. All right. Michael, Cheers. thank you. See ya. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. Hey, Muscles, you impressed the hell out of me, girl. I gotta tell you, I don't know too many guys that can hold a wheelbarrow the way you do. She's a, she's a very impressive person. On behalf of Her Majesty's Britannic government, <laughs> I'd just like to say you were cracking. Thank you very much indeed. We'll see you tomorrow. Are you back tomorrow? Oh, of course. You're mad. <laughs> Thank you very much. See ya. Willie? Yes, ma'am. We've all gone. I'm staying here. <laughs> Casita's a building, not a woman. Oh, well, I'll go with you then. Miss and Charlie. may I call you Miss Charlie? Is the day a Gloucester old spot flies across the moon? What's one of them? A pig. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm afraid it's going to be a more move this from here to there to there to here to here. So first thing, can we move all those bricks down and round behind the shed up against the wall? That's the first thing. Then move that pile of soil down into the far corner. But you'll need to pull the tools to one side. All right. Don't look like that. It's not that bad. <laughs> well, perhaps it is. While the volunteers limber up New York style, Tommy's waiting for reinforcements. 
and I'm working out my frustrations with an hammer. Oh, hi. My husband called me and said that you are doing, you're, you guys are rebuilding the yes. garden? Yes, we are, yeah. we are. My name is Brian Saad, and we were with the New York Restoration Project. And we're here with a show from the BBC called Ground Force. Yeah, that's what he told me. He said it's something to do with 9-11 and that you guys want to right. get involved in that. Right. Yes. What do you do? That's great. I'm a teacher, and I actually teach only a couple oh. blocks from here. Oh, really? And I've been watching the garden, and, um, uh, you know, we wanted to take some pictures, but I was hoping <laughs> that maybe we could get the school involved in it. Absolutely. Our students don't have anything to do with the outdoors at all. You know what it's like when you move into a new place. You want to give it your own touch, you know, and take out their old carpets, really, and just have a look at the floorboards and make sure they're sound. And I'm just going to give it a lick of blue paint. I mean, it's never going to be a wonderfully well constructed thing, but it has a certain kind of rustic rural charm in the heart of New York. Okay. They're here, Tommy. At last. At last. Tommy, this is, this is Albin. He's How'd our, you do, he's Albin? Our, he's our master uh, carpenter. Um, and this is Wentworth. Hi. Hello, Wentworth. How are you doing, guys? You know, the latest. What's that? We have to, what is it? It's quarter to 11. We have to be done by 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Why? Because that's when she's coming back. Yeah. We've just lost an hour, guys. <laughs> so I think we'd better get to work pretty quick. Good luck. OK. Alban's arrival means that Tommy now has tools and he can get on with the raised beds. Oh, now there's a surprise. Blue. This is Bette Midler blue. That's it. Well, these are fruit trees and they're trained as espaliers. That means that you've got the, the main trunk with branches coming off evenly along. We've got pears, which are red Bartlett, and we've also got apples, which are Brayburn. So that should give them lots of fruit for the garden. We refer to these wrapped tree roots as being burlapped, and burlap means sacking in American English. You don't have to unwrap the root ball. Provided you soak it, the tree roots grow out through it and the sacking rots away. on the long side. So Alan, apart from that being too long, is the tree going here? I'll come down and tell you. You did that very quickly. Very nimble of the lad, you know. Of course you um, are. I think we ought to get it in the night up. Oh my god, wrong answer. There's lots of nice young men here who help carry them in. All you have to do is point. They're all going off me, though. <laughs> Especially Elvis. <laughs> I should go and pick on him now, shouldn't I? <laughs> Young man! Huh? Hello! What do you want? This is the one we want to move. <laughs> <laughs> watch the top, watch the top. I'll give you guys a hand. So we want to swing it round. Off the edge, come off the edge. That's it, right. Lay it down. Oh, 20 past two, and it feels like half past midnight. Long hot days. Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? Well, there's another five to go yet, mate. Well, I'll try my best. Oh, don't take me perspex off. <laughs> 
be careful. Entonces, eso, Mira las, qué lindo las, eso ahí. Esto es el de House con este lado. Ya. Hay tíos, los van para ahí, para cada día. Es una buena idea. 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 Es una Well, we're going to pop off and have a spot of lunch. Won't be long. Okay. There's only a short bit of board, mate. That's all right. Have you I'm got a narrow knees? I'm perch on that, am I? Well, no, all right, you can have that. The board board. No, it's no. all right. I'll go against all the rules. Don't do it much. like this at home. This is not good gardening practice. Because what you do is you... No, look at me when I'm talking to you, not at the turf. What you do is you put your board on the turf that you've laid and you work forward so you don't disturb the soil that you've raked. Instead of doing what this stupid boy here is doing, he put his knees in the earth. And have we got a knife that I can cut this with? A kitchen knife. knife from the lady of the house? No, there's not a lady of the house. But there's a very nice cameraman with a multi-tool, shall we say. Ooh. He, 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 he doesn't mind sacrificing it. What's no, no, expecting no, to do no, with them? No, no. You've been in this industry for hundreds of years and you don't know. Slight exaggeration. Fine. Do you know how to join turf? I'll show you this. You'll enjoy this because the only way to get two pieces of turf absolutely, certainly joining is to overlap them. I like that. And then it doesn't matter how wobbly your hand is, if you cut through both sections, it's not a very long blade this, but you can do it almost an S shape, figure of eight if you want, just to show it really works. Do you realise the cameraman is now weeping because he didn't realise uh, that's what was going to happen to his knife? Serve him <laughs> right. And if it's gone right the way through, which it has, you end up with the perfect join. Thank you. I'll have my knife back now, please. <laughs> <laughs> the thought of that before you loaned it. Whoa! Look at this! Wow! My goodness, this is... Alan, is that you? Alan. Hello. You... The... Hi! How are you? How are you? <laughs> Joseph, has it changed? Wow, my goodness, what is going on? Is this the pathway under here? Yes. Is this... Wow. It's hard. Wow. That's incredible. Look at this. I don't believe it. Look at the, the display here. Is that... Are these being attached to anything? You can leave them because they're quite thick now and self-supporting. So you can leave them as they are. You can put them on wires if you want. But what you can do, when those two end shoots grow one from one way, one the other, you can put a, a cane there and, and tie them together, so you've got them in continuous rows. They look splendid. Do you think Beth will like it? I think Beth's going to love... She's going she's gonna to flip when she walks. We better put cushions at the, at the entryway so that she's... <laughs> I mean, because she's going to... She will not believe the transformation. New York Restoration Project, NYRP, Potted History, 30 seconds, go. When Beth moved back to New York City in 1994, she saw the conditions in the streets, and along the highways and in the parks and w went on a brigade to clean it up and to not only address the mess but to stay in it for the long haul and here we are perfectly answered you have your start of the 10 thank you <laughs> thank you i'm going to collapse on the mound now i think uh.
Lovely. Aren't they hard working? Are you finished, Tom? I, I'm well and truly finished. <laughs> We've got a pro well, not really a problem. We're two pieces of timber short. Yeah. But Alban's got it sorted, so don't worry. We'll put it in in the morning. Well, you've got the couple of bits that we can do that. Yeah. He'll pick them up, up in the morning. Shall we go home, then? Let's go home. Here, come on. Yes, I'll buy you a big, big pint. Que hable con alguien español y yo le traduzco. Hello. Hi. Que hable español. No, Aye. if you speak Sorry. Spanish, no. Which one is speak Spanish? No, no, one. Speak no Spanish. one. But you can say anything you want. Tommy hasn't even mastered English yet. I made a translation. <laughs> <laughs> he was the one who built up the house 30 years ago. So he, he yeah. built the casita? 32 years. 32 years. And this house is more house. So that was your house? Yeah. yeah. And, and you live was, in it? He was taken care of two, two, two years ago. Yeah. Really? Gosh. Yeah. So do you like the color? Because if you like the color they gave you, you like the color? Yeah, he says beautiful. No, it's beautiful. Everything is beautiful, he says. Come back tomorrow and see it finished. Que venga mañana, come back tomorrow. Que venga okay. mañana. Okay. Por la tarde. Oh, wonderful. Yes, he's going to come. Oh, lovely. Well, you don't speak much Spanish. No habla mucho inglés. You don't speak a lot of English. Even less Spanish. <laughs> Adios. Adios. <laughs> 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 Adios. <laughs> Adios. Adios. <laughs> 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 The forecast for today is um, increasing humidity, as indeed it is now. There was an ozone warning this morning. Um, and the temperature is due to reach, uh, by mid-afternoon, three figures. 100. Upper 90s, 100. Tommy, I have Alban on the phone. He's at Home Depot. Right. Just two 6x6s. Six That's all, yeah. You sure? That's all. OK, Alban, just the two 6x6s. Six yeah, we need his tools. Tommy. And we need your tools as well. So, OK? So he'll be, okay, great, thanks. So he'll be here in a half an hour. Is that a, a real half an hour or a New York half an hour? The New York half an hour. So uh, he, he'll be here in about an hour. <laughs> Although this site once bore a building, it's long since been collapsed into its basement and with all the topsoil we have delivered and plenty of organic matter, everything should do well. But watering will have to be done twice a day through this heat wave. Steamy, you wouldn't believe here, like a Turkish bath. You don't need saunas in New York, I think you just come outside. Apologise the perspiration. Um, the idea of that is that when you look down through the garden, you say, I've got my two sort of twiddly poles, and I want to little ground for signatures in New York. Done those before, that's why we're doing them here, because it's kind of us here. Uh, two twirly whirly Venetian gondola poles, then this wonderful pergola that all been made, and then the focal point becomes that, which is bang on, Elvis, you're all right there, that twisted birch. Five to ten. This floor is a bit was a bit rotten. We cut the bad piece out and replaced that, and we're going to disguise it up with these uh, scraps of timber we've got left and make it look like a bit of decking, really. But do I miss my nail gun? I haven't done this for a long while. 
Chin up, Tommy. Here's Alban and Wentworth at last with timber and tools. Yeah, children pass by just in the front of your class. They pass by and they go, wow, what there. we get, my God. It's totally different than it used to be before. Oh, yeah. It's there used to be a dumping area. Hello. And now it's beautiful. Hi. Good to see you again. Thank and you. And Roberta, of course, as always. <laughs> She's one of the teachers. And oh, great. Terrific. Oh, great. Terrific. Well, I hope you have uh, a lot of use for this garden with the with the children. So oh, bring them out you. here. As... Oh, yes. That's what we were saying, that I should bring them for a little trip now in the summer. Right. Definitely. It's so beautiful. Definitely. This is like a dream come true to our neighborhood. In a matter of hours, you guys turned this place into just a magical place. We couldn't have, we couldn't have done this without Ground Force. It's a great match. Ground Force and the New York Restoration Project. Bobby? Yeah? That's what you call a nail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wouldn't like to be whacking that. It'd take all your strength to hit it in. You want a big hitter to get them in home, <laughs> wouldn't you? Whoa. I wouldn't well, like to pull them out either, would you? <laughs> The weatherman said this morning it's going to be 105 and not to go outside and sit indoors and not exert yourself and drink lots of water. So what are we doing? Outside in the midday sun, exerting ourselves. A lady said to me, she said, um, those herbs are very delicate plants to be going in here. So I said, uh, Madam, they grow in the Mediterranean, they grow in dust, and they go where the sun beats down, so I suppose really they should be very much at home in New York. Very cold here in the winter, of course, uh, but things like sage can cope with that, and uh, they will be relishing this sun. <sighs> Lovely. Roast duck. Right. That's all the beds done. Pergola next. Right. Oh, yes. Wonderful. The pergola's going to go here, right where that great big pile of soil is. The observant amongst you may have noticed the migration of this pile of soil over the last couple of days. Always in someone's way. Now it's moved again, thanks to the AmeriCorps volunteers. Amber, look, you've got this thing on your shirt. It's AmeriCorps. Mm -hmm. What's AmeriCorps? Um, AmeriCorps is like the volunteer organisation that we all are members of. It's a nationwide organization. So here in New York, the New York Restoration Project uses the AmeriCorps volunteers as like a bulk of their like work yeah, workforce, staff, yeah. workforce. Yeah. So what do you get out of it? Well, I get, I like gardening. So the fact that the, the AmeriCorps group I work for does all community garden and greening stuff in New York, that's what I get out of it because I live in the city and I love New York City, but there's a tremendous amount of park space on the island of Manhattan that people don't even know about, like more than you can imagine for such a small little island. But most of it is um, full of garbage. So a lot of the other AmeriCorps just clean garbage out of parks so that people can go and hang out there. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed that this doesn't fill up with garbage. Well, we'll look after it, but the goal is for us to be able to walk away from it. Yeah and have everyone else in the neighborhood take care of it. Come to me a bit. Oh yeah, that's seemed about right there. Right, we've got this stuff now. No mixer. Great, just empty it out of the bag and add water. It's gone off in 20 minutes. Simple. Just a drop of water. Lovely. Brilliant job. I'm about to have an Evelyn War moment. Put out more flags. It's a little literary illusion for those of you who believe that the BBC is forever dumbing down and going down market. Ground force. We are a stronghold of English literature and American literature as well. So, uh, two flags, uh, one's ours and one's theirs. See you in a minute when I finish the drill. You managing all right, Alan? Yes, thank you.
It's seven minutes past three, we've got less than an hour. Charlie. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. And Tommy. How do you do? Very nice to and see you. Willie. Nice Hello, to meet you. Hello, Willie. Very nice to meet you. My goodness, are you I'm so sorry. Is it hot? Is, it, is it hot good. enough for you? My God, I almost passed out on the street. Isn't this fabulous? <laughs> Isn't this fabulous? Oh my God. Oh, it's oh, it's very pretty. It's You'll good. probably Wonderful be allowed colors. to walk on the turf as well. Yeah. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 this is going to be great for the kids, don't you think? Yeah, I love so, it. I'm, I know they're going to love it. I know they're going to love it. I'm really, really excited. It's, it's thrilling. We need this crew back to oh, do more you, gardening. Oh, oh, would you come back? Yeah, would only, you like to do a series? Only in the fall. Only in the fall. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong. I like a bit of eat me, but they tell us the last time it was this hot was 34 years ago. It's remarkable what you can do when the heat's on. This has been a real team effort with AmeriCorps, the New York Restoration Project and Michael the Concrete Guy all getting the ground force spirit and achieving the impossible in just three days. But then, as President Truman once nearly said, if you can't stand the heat, get out the garden. I don't know if you know our story. We own 50 of these. We are the largest landowners in... in uh... In, in New, New York, York. the largest private. We own five acres. <laughs> of course, they're in tiny pieces this big. You should but have this... said that we could have built it. <laughs> <laughs> we could have split the proceeds. We'd have had 50 flats up here. <laughs> could have, could have, not, not, not allowed. But we're, we've had them for, for a couple of years and we're going along. You know, we do about six, six a year. We, you know, soup to nuts, yeah. all in. And we've had a great time. The, the, the six that we had, we've done just this year alone. And this is like, this is the seventh. So this is fantastic. Mini Central Park. Yeah. Hey. Cheers. Cheers. Can you have some? Whoa. Cheers to you and your program because everybody you loves much. you. Cheers. Everyone is, it's, an, it's really Cheers. marvelous. Cheers. Everybody just adores you. That's all right. Cheers. Everybody just Cheers. adores you. Cheers. Just adores you. 
Can I ask you a, a question? What, what do you think the chances are of this stuff surviving? It's always got every chance. It's been huh? really well watered. It okay. does need watering now Good. daily just to keep it there. But it's fine. Okay. Sure. So you're going to do all the watering? I saw you doing it earlier. I mean, I don't know where we, I don't know where this would be if it wasn't for this guy who put all his effort and made all them phone calls to you guys and bugged you all about taking care of this body. <laughs> I'd like to say it's been a pleasure, but unfortunately it's far too hot for me to say that. <laughs> so, but cheers. Here's to you and your gardens. Thank here's you. to more of your lungs in the city. Thank you, sir. It's, it's been a pleasure Thank doing you. it. Thank you for your gift to us, it's your gift to the city, right. your gift to the Lower East Side. We need it and we appreciate it. We love you with all our hearts. Thank oh, you. Our pleasure. Very Same to you. Soon. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. From the ground force team, until the next time, in slightly cooler climes. Cheers. Bye-bye. I, I really thank you all for giving us this. Good. Thank you. Thank but you very much. Lovely. Thank you.